as a professional animator, I have one question. Who has the best Genshin elemental burst in the game? I am only going to be judging five star characters. They're just going to be better than the four star characters by default. I'm sorry. Who has the best elemental burst? Hmm. Wind, hear me. That's probably the, as basic of an elemental burst as you can possibly get. She literally just holds her sword up to her face and then like turns it once. I'm going to put her in C tier. Not impressed. Retribution. So this guy's interesting. He doesn't have like the cinematic background change type of elemental burst animation as like the others. We're just going to put him on C. I do feel like the Phoenix is a cool factor, but it doesn't quite match the animation. I actually love this one. She plucks the bomb out. It's like got this bounciness to it. Like that's so cute. I'm going to give her a B for now. It's still not like super creative, but it's just a little bit more effort than the other two. Decided by destiny. Her animation is kind of mid, but like the effects afterwards are pretty great. They have this like really close up shot of her, but they don't really have like the model fidelity to support it. <laughs> I'm going to put her on a B for now just for the effects, but like it could be a C to be honest. I mean, the animation is just kind of, it's all right. You know, why are they dancing? <laughs> Feel this ancient power. Yeah, so that was pretty mid. <laughs> Bro, that's a C tier. I'm sorry. That's a C tier. It just like creates like a flower after him. It's cool, but like it's animation wise, super basic. Vengeance will be mine. Woo! That's cool. That's got some oomph behind it. Yeah, so that has like a lot of great anticipation. I'm gonna put her in A tier. That's the first one with A tier just because there's a bit more anticipation than the other ones. And it feels like there's a payoff there for the elemental burst, which is good. Payoff is what we want. We want that anticipation and payoff for an ultimate. Think you can get away? Okay, so it's just literally the most basic arrow pose you could possibly think of. I'm gonna put him like high B. Nowhere to hide. Woo! Kaching's ultimate is easily an S tier. One of the longer animations too, but yeah, that is. Woo. Opening box of Adept Eye Tricks. Chi Chi's a solid B. She's got like some cool effects, some good anticipation, but like still relatively basic moves, but way better than C tier so far. That's cute. I like the character personality in it. I think it doesn't have a whole lot of anticipation to it. I want to put it at a low A though, just because this actually has something that is like unique to Hu Tao. She's got the ghost coming out and that's not something that you see with any other like weapon or attack. I, I like that one. It's a bit more character driven as well. This is long overdue. Damn, she just like planetary destruction that shit. I love the angle there. I, I do think that's a really cool angle. That's an A. Do your master's bidding. Okay, that was cool. It's so cool. She's got the little cryo clone. We'll put her right next to Eula. <laughs> Taking a turn for the better. As cool as this is, and I do love the background, honestly, it's just another Albedo ultimate. <laughs> it's just Albedo, but with trees. Like, what do you want me to do? What? Yo, they did Xiao dirty. Xiao's one of the coolest combat animation characters I've seen. I love his attack animations. That burst was honestly really mid. Animation-wise, he literally just shakes fists like nothing personnel, kid. Bro. Oh, that is the worst one. I cannot give you a high ranking on that. Here comes the catch. Okay, you guys gotta know. Yelan, top burst. I'm reserving SS for the best, by the way. We'll call this champion. Yelan is probably currently my bias in Genshin. Her ultimate and her moveset are both so good. Like animation wise, I just can't help but be like, yeah, no, she's she's best girl. I mean, I also animated her Nameless Road. Okay, I'm a little biased. Riptide. That was mid. Riptide. You know that was mid. Brace yourself. This is gonna hurt. That was also mid. <laughs> All right, Tartaglia. I'd say you're pretty C tier, to be honest. Child, honestly, bro, I thought you'd be cooler. I will have order. I'm broken up on how to judge this because animation-wise, he just crosses his hands. But like, conceptually, one of the coolest ultimates. I wish this angle showed his face more. Just a little bit. And then like, have the meteor come in. If that was the case, it would be so much better. Honestly, I'm gonna have to put him in B tier. Probably just right next to Venti. They get along, right? They're, they're friends. <laughs> Okay, that was cool. I really like her interaction with the water effects. I'm gonna put her between Mona and Klee, I think. Because Mona had a very similar thing where her animation was like pretty mid, but the animation actually does complement the effects really well. 
okay that was cool she's so close to like one of the best imagine this right we get the fireworks and then we zoom in to her bow and arrow we get this cool like let's be real it's a hanzo highlight intro we get the hanzo highlight intro and then she shoots that would honestly be pretty high maybe at least an a maybe an s depending on how much effects play into it but she's a b right now Fallen leaves. Adorn my knight. I love Kazuha's combat animations. I really like his combos and stuff, but this is not impressing me as much, to be honest. I think he pulls the sword out too early and too linearly. I'm going to put him above Mona, actually, probably, because I do like his effects and his follow through. It's relatively basic at the end of the day. Kamisato Suyu. See, <laughs> he's got a cool pose, but that's it. Does he even move? <laughs> it's not very satisfying because there's not quite enough anticipation to it. They're doing a good job doing what they want him to feel like, which is like a sudden strike that you don't anticipate, which is cool. That was way cooler than your brother. I'm gonna put you above Shunhu. You have a sword disappearing, turning into a fan, and then she uses the fan. That's an A tier. Nothing lasts forever. Hmm, how does that make me feel? How does that make me feel? Was that right here? It feels the same as Zhongli. I agree with that. But because I can see her face, she ranks higher than Zhongli. The pose here is like really well done. It's like she's extremely creepy. She's got this like power behind her eyes. You can see her whole face and her whole personality here. And it feels like powerful. Yeze is more satisfying when you use it with her skill because I think it creates more... Oh, more bolts. Oh, interesting. Nothing lasts forever. Ah, yes true actually because of that i have to give it a higher rating because uh the other ones don't have that we're gonna put her in high a for now Only coming through. i think if they had a little bit more of an emphasis on the club itself we'd be good but i do like the pose a lot so i'm gonna rank it pretty high i would say like probably around the same as 2000 Cry louder. It's such a great pose. I feel like this is something that tells a lot with very little. I feel like he's probably still high A, but it's very, very close. Inazuma shines eternal. She's a candidate for one of the best bursts in the game. Inazuma shines eternal. <laughs> I mean, this is hard to beat, guys. Look at that. I hear everything. Okay, Tainari is surprisingly good. I would say I put him lower than Venti, but still pretty close to Venti. Through me, justice is served. That's a cool pose. That's Ito level posing. I really like that one. I'd say right here. Maybe underneath Hutao, actually, because Hutao still has more of a character-driven thing. But he does have a really nice focal length. And those are the focal lengths I love. The process of elimination. Whoa. See a JoJo character? Normally, the effortlessness, I might be like, oh, there's not enough anticipation. But because of his character, I feel like he belongs with that kind of ultimate where it's like very efficient movements. And I really like the effects afterwards. I'm putting him in A, but I just don't know where. It's a pretty close tie with Ayaka, honestly. This dance is for you. Oh, that feels so good. It's so satisfying. High A for sure. Just because of how satisfying that is visually. Everything leads into the next movement really well, and it has a perfect payoff at the end. I like it. It's high A. She punches really hard. I do like the fact that she puts out her leg at the end, like her foot's on fire and stuff. That's cute. I would put it under C for sure, but like it's better than Albedo's. Is it though? It's a little bit better than Albedo's. <laughs> the Temple of Wisdom. What the fuck? This motherfucker spawns a goddamn building. I do really like it because I like the scale of the burst. I'm gonna put it right above Alhaitham, I think. Oh, that's not what I expected at all. I'd honestly put her in low A tier. The camera work is not quite impressive. So like, therefore it doesn't get like a higher ranking, but if it did have better camera work, honestly, it'd be really, really high. But it's so character driven, has so much movement that I'd have to put it in A for sure. Here comes the finale. That's pretty cool. So he throws his hat around and then goes into it. I don't really understand what his ultimate does. If I'm being completely honest, I have no idea. Animation, super satisfying. The arc, super satisfying. Character-driven animation, pretty high up there. You know, I actually, I'm gonna put him in S. He's our first male S character. <laughs> Here's the thing about Nouvellet. He barely moves. This is his character. He bursts outwards and then slowly bubbles upwards. That feels good. Like from an animation perspective, a really, really nice contrast to like his stoic stature. Nouvellet with the S tier, the second male character and the second Fontaine character. That's kind of crazy. Honestly, I think Fontaine characters are a little OP right now. Have a safe trip. 
Grizzly, he punches his own glove to punch the guy even harder with his glove. <laughs> it's got so much anticipation to it and also a lot of creativity in his movement and his weapon. Is he going to be an S as well? There's no way. But is he better than Wanderer? Like, yeah. How are the Fontaine characters dominating so much, dude? All right, guys, let's decide on who the top S is. Now, S, we have six characters. Surprisingly, three males and three females. The males are all from Fontaine and all the girls have blue or purple hair. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it means something. I'm going to watch all of these again, and we're just going to watch them very carefully. And then we're going to make a final decision. Nowhere to hide. This is tough because technically speaking, the animation is after the cinematic burst part of it. But like, it's very much part of her burst. So I can't say that it's not. Hers is pretty good still. Here comes the catch. Yelan is higher than Kaching. I'm sorry. Yelan's is so much more creative. She's got the dice. She's got the amazing angle there. And then she's got this really, really cool pose at the end, which is just super extra. I have to put Yelan above Kaching. Inazuma shines eternal. Honestly, like the burst itself is like pretty basic. It's just like a pull and a slash. And I think like when it comes to Raiden's like single slash, which has the cool space rift thing, that's cool. But Kaching actually does outrank her, I think. I have to put her behind Kaching. Here comes the finale. Oh, that is so cool. Lenny is great because they use the camera to hide the moment Lenny disappears and you switch to controlling the hat. That sounds like a pretty good argument. Oh, they really do. They really do. All right, I'm going to put him above Raiden. Honestly, I, I think I have to put him above Kaching as well. Woo! Woo! That makes me feel something. Nouvellet, do you rank higher than Lenny? I can't decide right now. I have to tiebreaker them later. Have a safe trip. This one is interesting. Animation-wise, it is better than at least Kaching and, and Raiden. It doesn't hit quite as hard as Nouvellet. I don't know why. The winner has been decided. You guys ready? Uh, Xiao. <laughs> I'm kidding. Please come back. Okay, so the winner is Yelan. I know I said she was my bias, but I promise this is a completely unbiased decision. <laughs> but honestly though, she has the best elemental burst animation. She has amazing composition with not just her pose, but the strings as well, which act as frames. And then you also have the strings that follow the arc of her animation, like her hand when she spins, not to mention the spinning dice, which carries over the momentum from the spin and builds anticipation for the burst itself. We're not even talking about the pose at the end, which we all know is the best pose in Genshin. Anyway, that's just my opinion. I was going to give it to Raiden Shogun at one point because her animation is very iconic, very memorable, and very impactful. But most of that is because of the effects and the idea, but not the animation itself, even though it is really, really good. So the winner is Yelan. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that ranking. That was fun. Torturous, but fun, as most things are.